up you guys happy first day of spooky season we are kicking october off with an it makeup look so i am starting by applying a bald cap if you're gonna do this please make sure you get a bigger bald cap because you're gonna have to stuff it with cotton balls this is how we're gonna make his a huge big old bulbous head so you're gonna need a bigger bald cap so you can make sure you can stuff it with cotton balls and you want to make it as smooth as you can get it from you want to get it as smooth as you can so there's not a line on your forehead so it's not really puffy and then it goes like flat on your forehead i don't know how to explain it but you just want it to be a smooth transition from the cotton balls to your actual forehead Next, I'm taking some liquid latex and I'm going to use this to glue down the bald cap. So I just lifted it up a little bit. I'm going to put a layer of liquid latex and then stick the bald cap down. And I'm sorry my focus is going out of whack a little bit. It's going to stop soon. So this part is kind of like when you do the stocking cap method for a wig, you're just going to cut around your ear to make sure that your ears are showing. Just cut the bald cap to fit around your ear. Once you have it cut to your liking, you're just gonna do, again, stick it down with the liquid latex. Don't be like me because I got some liquid latex in my hair and it hurt like a mother lover when I tried to take it off. So please be safe and do not get the latex in your hair. Then once I have the whole cap stuck down, I'm just putting an extra layer of latex over the top so I can blend the cap with my skin. You might need some help cutting the cap. I did, so I just had Khalil help me to cut around my ear. So I don't know if you guys could tell, but Pennywise has like some really cracked skin. I don't know what it is. I don't know if he's just dirty or if it's just skin cracks, but I'm going to use some tissue and liquid latex to create the illusion of texture on my head so i'm just putting down a little bit of latex and then i ripped up some small pieces of tissue and you just kind of add the glue and mess it around you can do this really messily it's just going to create some texture
So starting with the eyebrows, I'm just taking a glue stick. You're gonna go against the hairs and then with you know the flow of the hairs and brush it through. You're gonna have to do a couple layers of this. I think I did about four layers just because I felt like my eyebrows were not sticking down. So you're just gonna have to put glue and then brush through, let it dry and do it over again. You want this as smooth as possible so when you cover your eyebrows with paint, you can't see them. Then I started bringing the texture down a little bit to my forehead, also trying to cover up that line of demarcation with the bald cap. I focused this more towards the front of the head because I'm gonna put a wig on so it didn't make sense to do my entire head. And here's the wig. This was like a short bob wig I got from the beauty supply store, really cheap and I pretty much cut it. This was how it looked when I first put it on, but I did a lot of teasing and I added a lot of hairspray so I could get it to look like this. So I just took a brush and did a lot of teasing and back combing. I added some hairspray to get it really, really hard and make it stand up. And it's gonna take some work. At first, I thought it was gonna look crazy, but it ended up looking really, really good. I also had to cut this wig into the shape of his head. He has like, kind of like a heart shape. There's little portions, I don't know. He has a point at the top of his head and then the hair is disappearing. You guys know what his hair looks like. So time for the paint. So you're just gonna take some white paint. I use the brand Mar Marin, Maron, I'm not sure how to say it. Everything will be in the description box, but it is the color Clown White. And I'm not sure if I showed it, but I was using baby powder, just regular Johnson Johnson baby powder to set the paint. So when I did my eyebrows, I did one layer of paint, I set it with the powder, then I did another layer and set it with the powder. And this was around the time that it started to get real. So now I'm taking some gray eyeshadow and I'm just creating a little bit of shadow around his eyes because he always looks kind of angry. So I was trying to mimic that. And I know it's not perfect, but this was like the first time I've ever done any crazy look like this. So I was just trying my hardest guys. Then you're just gonna take any black eyeshadow and apply it all around your eye. He has a very, very dark eye. And again, I did this kind of messily. I didn't, I wasn't aiming for it to be perfect because he's scary. So I packed on a black shadow and then I started to blend out the edges just so it wasn't as harsh. And the eyebrows, I kind of had a little bit of trouble with this, so that's why the entire clip isn't in. But just try your best to do a really, really high raised um, arch for his eyebrows. And then I added some little, you guys will see, at the beginning, I kind of angled it up.
And yes, I do have lashes on guys. I wear lash extensions, so I couldn't just really take them off. And I paid for these, so I wasn't just gonna take them off. So just ignore that. But as you can see, I'm doing the indents at the beginning of the eyebrow. And at first I had on this red lipstick, but it was really, really bright. So I took a deeper tone and just added it on top. Then I'm just going to draw the lines he has connecting his eye makeup and his lips. So this is very precise. You're gonna wanna use a small brush so you can get this really perfect. And I am using, actually this was lipstick. I didn't have a red paint, so I used a red liquid lipstick. Then from the top of the black smoky eye, you're gonna go through your eyebrow and make the point he has. And this part really just pulls the whole look together. Lastly, I'm going to do my nose. You guys know he has a big red clown nose. So I am just going to cover the tip if, of my nose in some red paint. Then I took some more gray shadow and I'm just going to contour my face a little bit. And that's the look. Hello, Georgie. Me and my me and my clown sister. Period. Hey, what's up, y'all? I really hope you enjoyed the look. This took me and Khalil, who's right here. He held me the whole time. Took us like what time is it now? Six thirty-six. Six thirty-six. We, we started, started at, like we started at like three. Three thirty. So like, three. Oh yeah, I told you it's gonna take yeah, us like three, three hours. hours. But I'm so happy with it. I love this so much. I'm not doing this again. So I'm glad it came out really, really well. I hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, thank you, Emma Pickles, because this was like a complete recreation of her look. But I really love it. I've seen both the movies and I love how this turned out. So if y'all have any recreations for Halloween, tag me, let me know, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.